I think that uh, we've all had just about enough of Donald Trump. Um, this is a president who rules by tweet. Um, he's a man. He doesn't seem to get that his bluster and his bullying are costing people real jobs in his own country, in Canada, and in Ontario. Yesterday I was at, uh, it was in Hamilton at Stelco, um, and I just have to say that our steel workers deserve better. There's no talking to Donald Trump because he's not listening unless it's about him, and that is the problem that we're confronting. I spoke with the Prime Minister yesterday um, to express Ontario's support. Um, you know, this is not the action of an ally or of an economic partner, which in fact the United States should be and has been for so long. But this action is not the action of an ally or an economic partner. So the reality is that our federal government has moved heaven and earth. They've cajoled Trump, they have soothed his ego, they've played to his apparently inexhaustible vanity, and they've tried to find allies in Congress. I applaud their efforts, and I have added to those efforts. I have traveled to the United States multiple times. I have had uh, governors come here. I have met in all with 37 governors. I have met with Congress people. I've met with senators to make the case about how connected we are and how mutually beneficial beneficial our relationship has been. But I really believe that now the time for talk is done. Donald Trump is a bully and the only way to deal with a bully is to stand up and push back and we have to do that. That is exactly what we need to do as a country at this moment. So Ontario is urging a swift and a sharp response. We need to hit back at what Donald Trump has done. I'm calling on Doug Ford and Andrea Horvath to join with me, given that we're in an election campaign. Ontario has to show a united front in calling for the following, and here's what we are calling for. First, we're asking Ottawa to prepare the toughest set of retaliatory measures possible. And second, we're asking Ottawa to join with Ontario in Ontario with putting together a package to protect, support, and sustain the steelmaking jobs in our province until this, these ridiculous and unwarranted trade actions are repealed. I, I did tell the Prime Minister yesterday when I spoke with him that if this were to happen, we would be looking for that kind of support. And so I, uh, I am calling on Ottawa to work with us to put together that package to support our industry. Uh, I have to believe that this ridiculous action because this is an action that, as I say, will hurt jobs in the United States as well as across Canada and in Ontario. I have to believe that uh, these uh, trade barriers will be repealed, but until that point, we must make it clear that it is unacceptable and it must have uh, a retaliatory action. We have to send a signal to Donald Trump. We have to send a signal that Canada will not be your doormat. Ontario will not be your doormat. We need to push back against, against this action.